Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And uh, today we're in Rock Springs, headed for Fort Collins. And uh, we've got the uh, Thunderbird uh, Trucking Company skin on here, and they just happen to be based in Rock Springs, so kind of appropriate on the uh, stretched K100 VIT uh, from uh, Overfloater. And we've got a company skin on a uh, uh, turn, uh, Rocky Mountain Double. So we got 3406B, which is fitting. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hop in and get on with the show. Oh, darn. Pause while I set the seat. <laughs> Brand new truck. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. It's uh, all set now. It's as good as it gets anyway. It can't get the seat lower than this, which is kind of frustrating. Um, especially when you when you look out the side watch, your head goes up, which is kind of weird. But that's what it is. Let's get this thing fired up. Come on, there we go. Get some lights. Lights, cameras, action. So this should be a uh, nice trip. You know, in all honesty, I haven't done this lower uh, route across uh, Wyoming a whole lot. I've probably done it, you know, a handful of times for sure, but uh, it's been a little while. And I've uh, done lots of northwestern Wyoming and then the east, uh, north and south. So this should be pretty good. Turn right. around that mirror. There's a little gap there. Nothing coming for a while. Oh man, they just keep spawning. I think we're going to have to go for it. Be here all day. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, your masters aren't cooperating. Come on. Turn right. You're way late. Got me in trouble in Vancouver the other day like that. Lori's the uh, um, voice navigator. Just in case you're familiar with that Z mod uh, GPS voice mod. It's a freebie. I generally like it. There's a western star. I 
wonder when uh, Zmod's Western Star is going to be ready. Whoops, just got something out of my pocket here. It's bugging me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I signed up for his 4900. Yeah, we got uh, 60,000 pounds of empty pallets on here. Took a little while to get up to speed there. Oh wow, now it's 80. We got a bus, or what is that? fire truck or a bus or something going slow. This could get ugly. Whoops. If I put my signal on, would that guy slow down for me? I have to show my trailer a bit. There we go. Wow. Come on. 60 and an 80. That's frustrating. That's one thing I don't like, as I said before about the classic car pack, is uh, you seldom see them driving the speed limit. Got that pickup truck right beside us. I don't think honking the horn works. <laughs> Pickup truck still right there. Well, that's a fine how do you do? Can't see that pickup. Oh yeah, he's still right there. Somebody will turn off the highway here. No, not the fire truck. Not the old bump side F100. Hmm. Well, thanks for that tip. Wow, this is really frustrating. I think I'm going to have to just kind of ease over here and scare this guy out of the lane. We've got to make a mile here. There he goes. Do the same to this guy. You don't want to hit him. Just give him a little, little one of those and they get out of the lane. Now what to do about these two? I hate, hate it when this happens in real life. <laughs> oh boy. I used to take pains to avoid it when I was driving. Like I, I'd give it up. And uh, if I saw we were going to be holding somebody up, I wouldn't get in a slow motion drag race. Because these guys are in lockstep here. Nothing we can do about it. Just gotta hope the fire truck turns off. Yeah, this is definitely broken AI. And here's your chance to get off the highway here. Wyoming Fire Department. Oh, he's sticking around. Oh, 
man. That guy's gone. Oh. Definitely wouldn't do this in real life, guys, but I think this chance of this happening in real life is for this duration. Bear in mind, we're going at like 19 times speed here, time time to uh, expiration wise. So that would be the equivalent to like half an hour or more driving. Come on. Yeah, this is the first time I've had this for this long where these guys go at exactly the same speed I don't think I've ever had this happen for more than a few miles before there he goes oh, we're going to show this guy our uh, appreciation here oh there's somebody behind him I guess we should he's going to just move over a little bit and just uh, not hit him but voice my displeasure but that would be Compared to the guy behind him. Man, that was annoying. Let's see if we can get this thing up to 80 here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Fifty nine caddy. As I said before, that's what I was looking for when I bought my sixty two. But uh, yeah, they were just not around. I don't think I've ever even seen or recognized a 62 in my life <laughs> until I uh, got wind of the one I did buy. And uh, it's grown on me. It's not as outrageous looking as a, as a 59 with all the Buck Rogers stuff. pretty close I think judging by the info on my tablet here hopefully uh, cruising at five over like this if we get a good enough stretch of it we'll be okay hey we forgot to get out and look at the truck Tracking rock springs. This all Vista Cruiser. I used to be envious when I was a kid. You know, we'd be there's four four kids. There's three boys and my sister who was the oldest, and my parents would be taking our old station wagon. We had three of that I grew up in. The first one I remember was uh, it was a uh, well, what was it now? A 57 Pontiac two door wagon. So it wasn't like uh, the Nomad with the sloping. Uh, B pillar, or it was a straight up down B pillar. But the 57, then we, then we had a, uh, what do we have next? A 60, 62 or 61 Chevy Sherwood wagon. Oh, and 
And we had a 65 Meteor Rito, which I believe is a Canadian car. And, uh, yeah, but we'd be, and then, you know, my dad never bought one new. And, uh, we'd be, uh, on holidays towing the tent trailer and we'd see these Vista Cruisers and other cool wagons and, man, <laughs> be a little bit envious. I still remember the first time I saw a, uh, uh, a 71 Boat Tail Riviera. So I guess I would remember about 15. And we're in the, in the wagon on holidays, cruising along, and we pulled in. Well, we're going through some little town. And uh, man, I never saw anything just quite that exotic in quite a while. I was quite something. Hotel Riviera. Quite, quite the thing. I remember, uh, so I would have been like 15 and 71, and it was only like two years later, I'm going into the city to high school. And, uh, was it two years? I don't know. No, not, not two years. It was right around then. And, uh, yeah, it was like my third year, I, in my third year of high school, the, one of the hockey players on the school hockey team, you know, rich kid, good hockey player, mind you. Uh, and I guess he was a good guy, too. Like, he, you know, he wasn't one of those, you know, a dickhead or anything. He was a good kid. But he had a, and I guess it was 73 by then, and his parents give him a 71 Riv boat tail to drive to school. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was gorgeous. It was like that deep red, white vinyl. Uh, it was a nice car. Jeez. There is some, you know, hillbilly from the country. Looking at that. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. But only a little while later, I had me a uh, 750 right. Norton. Arrived to school, and then I was pretty cool. <laughs> nothing like a boat tail riff. So where are we going to? Cargill. Oh, that's cool. Cargill. I think that's going to be way out the other end of town. After 100 yards, turn left. Or maybe not. It says I've only got less than a mile to go. Turn left. Oh, excuse me. Looking set up. Oh, we didn't get a hurry up warning here yet, so 
I guess that, uh, oh man, that long bout of side-by-side -side didn't hurt us too much. Watch our garage change to a transall up ahead here. Should pop into a transall any second. Oh wow. Oh, maybe I don't have. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought I had that mod on here. Oh, turn left. I'm just dozing, looking at the, sh the garage. I was going to say, i got to try and get my uh, company skins to work on that garage again. Your destination. To try it. I'm probably just going to park a straight ahead here somewhere, but we'll find out right away. Yep. Get that parking spot with the uh, uh, double hopper grain trailers when you're running the, uh, or sorry, the B double grain trailers, for the SWC modding one. We didn't get much time outside of the truck today. Looking at it, I think it's uh, such a good looking truck. I don't know if any of you guys watch uh, a guy on YouTube, uh, Rich DeBoss, DeBoss Garage, on this heavy duty channel, or even, I uh, know it's not on this, maybe it's this heavy duty, he rebuilt a K100, he's got two channels where he does cars and trucks and stuff, and then he's got a heavy duty one where he does ag stuff, he's also just rebuilt a K100 with a 3406 kind of a weird paint job scheme going on it but I might do it uh, I might just do that paint job one of these days as soon as I finish with the caddy but uh, yeah these K100s they, you know what's not to like it's just such a classic look it looks nice with the uh, 24 fives on it with the uh, Alcoa heavy ones on the front with the uh, they have a bit wider stance and they, they uh, fit the wheel well really, or the fender well really nicely like it just comes flush with the outside it's a good look and then the stretch chassis of course and this is the forward front axle uh, version of the truck so if you're wondering how to get that forward front axle when you're looking at the trucks in the uh, mod dealer it's the blue and light blue, dark blue one in the top right of the pane of four trucks. There's one in the top right. That's the one that has this forward axle. And so, yeah, I'll get around to putting the skin out. I put the skin out for the rear set axle one quite a while ago. It's on Steam, but uh, I got to redo that mod to include this option. So, and this uh, trailer skin is on uh, Steam as well. Let's get this load off. 41 gallons, 305 miles. See, that's not bad. <laughs> Must have been all that going slow <laughs> behind the uh, saved some fuel getting held up there. Anyway, that was a fun trip. I think I'm going to. Uh, it's Sunday night, and uh, I got time to just uh, do another trip with this setup with my. Uh, put my cruising tunes on and listen to some music and do a nice cruise. I think I owe it to myself. I've had such a busy time. Got the uh, oil pan bolted onto the caddy and ready to start doing a whole bunch of other stuff and eventually I'll have it back on the road pretty soon. So that's good news. And uh, once that happens, like I say, we're going to be pumping out a bunch of skins because uh, I got a whole bunch. Just, you know, pretty much just need me to take all the photos and do the MacGyver 476 on them instead of my 467 and I could got probably gonna have 10 or 15 skins to put out in a hurry anyway thanks for following along guys I really appreciate it and if you haven't already consider subscribing to those of you who have thanks very much really appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you on the next one bye for now